Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing total two TCS digital interview experiences. Both of these interview happened today only. That is on twenty sixth May two thousand twenty five. Guys, make sure that you are watching this video till the end because all the technical questions asked in these two interviews have been discussed in this video. Every question is very important for you because they might get repeated in your interviews as well, and they give you a fair amount of idea that what type of questions. Or subjects are important for the interviews. Guys, previously also from past one week, I am continuously making videos of actual TCS Ninja Digital and Tribe interview experiences. All those interview experiences I have given in this particular playlist of TCS NQ 2025. The link of this playlist I will give you in the i button or in the description box. Make sure that after watching this video, you check out previous interview experiences also. So now let's start the video. Before starting the video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because each and every like will motivate us for making more such videos. And guys, do join this Telegram group. It's dedicated for 2025 batch students. Okay, all the discussions for different different companies are happening in this group. Links will find in the description box. Now let's start the video. Okay, so guys, the first question was there was a deep discussion about internship at Infosys. So this particular student has done the internship. Okay. So there was discussion around internship, like what was your project, what was your role in the team, what feature you were working on. Okay, all these type of questions regarding on internship can be asked. Next question is was deep discussion related to project. Okay, so project can be of your internship also and can be also from the resume that you have mentioned. Okay, I have told you before also try to uh, mention at least two technical projects in your resume. It will give a very good impact to the interviewer. Okay. Next question was there was a deep discussion about each line written in resume. Again, resume is a very important part of your interview process. Do not lie in your resume because questions each and every line, as mentioned in this interview, is a potential question in your interview. If anything it seems shady to the interviewer, it will be a very bad impression. Don't lie in your resume. It will put a bad impression on the interviewer. I hope this question is clear to you. Next question was what is the difference between malloc and calloc? So malloc allocates memory of a given size but doesn't initialize it, whereas calloc allocates memory for n elements of a given size and initialize all bytes to zero. This is the major difference between malloc and calloc. Next is what is a pointer? A pointer is a variable that stores the address of another variable. Simple. Int a is equal to ten. Pointer will be star p equal to m percent of a. P holds the address of a. This is what a pointer is. Next question is, uh, please explain CSS properties. Okay, so CSS properties are color, background color, margin is padding, display, position, float, font size, text align. All these are the CSS properties that we can write. Okay, I hope this is clear to you. Next is palindrome number code. That is in C plus plus. So he was given a sheet of paper and he was asked to write the palindrome number code. So in previous interview experiences also, I have shown you that these basic uh, coding questions are important for your interviews. Whether it is Ninja Digital or Prime, basic coding question can be asked from these. This is the code for finding the palindrome number. Okay, I hope this is clear to you. Next question is Armstrong number code. So Armstrong number code. So again, very important. So do check this code out. Okay, I hope this is clear to you. So guys, before moving ahead, I would like to remind you again that on our top mid page of Code Bashers, we have important intro IT subject notes, and the rating of these notes is also very good. Okay, in these particular notes, you will get all these subjects that will be covered. Okay, so you will get C plus plus interview questions, Java interview questions, Python, DBMS, SQL queries, coding questions asked in interviews, operating system, networking. Machine learning, cloud computing, managerial questions, as well as HR questions. So all the subjects that are important for the TCS interviews are covered in these notes. For every subject that is mentioned here, we have around 20 to 25 important questions and their answers. So we have analyzed lot of interview experiences on this channel and we have came up with these notes. Okay, these notes will be very much beneficial for you for your last minute preparation. If you want to see the sample, also you can see here in these notes for every subject we have given the proper question. And proper answer is given also that how you have to tell in the interview. Okay, this was the Java PDF. Let's see the Python PDF as well. So you can see here for every question, there is a correct answer that is given to you. You just have to 
give it in the interview okay so all these subjects are covered here for every subject 20 to 25 important questions are there and around 70 to 80 percent of questions can repeat from these notes only in your interviews so if you are interested and you think that they can help you in last minute preparation the links of these notes are in the description box do check them out next question was factorial code again this question also got repeated so out of these three coding questions two coding questions i have already discussed in the previous videos so i am again and again saying you that all the interview experiences that we are discussing are important for you because same questions are getting repeated in the interviews and for you also these can repeat okay so again you can see factorial code here next question is linked list what is the linked list in c++ so linked list is used to store dynamic data with efficient insertion and deletion so there is a node structure in a linked list so this is the structure of a node wherein it will contain the data and the position of the next node so this is what a linked list is i hope it's clear to you next question is what are static variables a static variables retain its value between function calls okay first of all static variables belong to a class rather than it belongs to a uh, function or a object so static variable are common across all the objects okay so static variable retain its value between function calls okay i hope it is clear to you next is oops code with their real life example again a repetitive question from previous interview experiences oops questions are very important abstraction polymorphism inheritance uh, and encapsulation all these are oops concepts which are very important with their definition with their types and with their code is in the interviewer it is constantly getting asked i hope again it's clear to you please check out previous interview experiences also because lot of things are getting repeated next question is what is a tree data structure so tree is a hierarchical data structure with root node and child nodes forming subtrees okay it is used in parsing file system etc so this is a tree data structure next question is what is a binary tree so binary tree means for every node there are two children nodes binary means two for every node there are two children nodes i hope it's clear to you next question is what is the difference between primary key and foreign key so primary key uniquely identifies a record in a table whereas foreign key refers to the primary key of another table used to establish relationship we generally do joins between two, these two tables so foreign key is that column on which join operation is performed and primary key is used for identify a record in a table next is jwt in javascript jwt means json web token okay it is used for securely transmitting information between parties commonly used in authentication purpose okay next question is find only the third highest cell key so this is the question okay we will be using the limit and offset for finding the third largest cell key i hope it's clear to you next question is json server that is the project okay it's for related to project so project related question can also be asked from you next question is why do you want to join tcs so any company you are giving interview for just read two to three positive news about that company and tell the interviewer that why you want to join tcs okay next question is where do you see yourself in five years so you can see in five years you see yourself as a team lead or a or a person who manages two to three people under him or do reviews of code and all these things okay i hope it's clear to you next question is previous interview experience so this particular student told the interviewer that i have given the interview for another company also previously but i got rejected therefore he they were they, he was asked what was your previous interview experience next was why were you rejected in that company so you can tell the reason next is what improvement done so currently you are giving in, interview from last interview rejection what improvement you have done i hope this question is clear to you next the last question of this interview technical interview was tags in html so any tags you can tell to the interviewer and he will be happy now this was the first tcs digital interview experience now let's move towards the second tcs digital interview experience but guys if you're watching this video till here and you're finding it informative make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and do join this telegram group it's dedicated for 2025 batch students and all the previous interview experiences also we have covered under this playlist okay the links of this playlist are in the description box do check them out now let's move towards the second interview experience so see this is the second interview experience i'm not going to go in detail about the answers but see the questions here what is the difference between c and c plus plus what is the difference between class and structure having versus where clause call by value versus call by reference what are pointers again this question got repeated there were questions on aws as i had mentioned it as an elective subject 
guys anything you are mentioning in your resume is very important do study about that two sql queries were asked to write on the piece of paper so this candidate doesn't didn't told me that what were the sql queries next was sent to mr introduction how you will handle deadlines your strengths and weakness your role in the project that you have mentioned where do you see yourself in five years see lot of questions are getting repeated from previous interviews only so therefore previous learning from previous interview experiences are must you should study about them okay next was the hr round she had checklist just formality asking about relocation night shift random allocation to project and similar questions so all these type of questions that i've discussed in this video were asked in actual tc digital interview experiences that happened today only so make sure that you study really well you uh, see previous interview experiences not only from my channel but from different different youtube channels or geeks for geeks also because lot of questions can repeat in your interviews also okay you can check out the notes in the description box for your preparation purpose and you can join this telegram group for the further discussion or any doubts you have always i am i will be available there so do mention your queries there this was it for this video thank you for watching this video